There's a lot of reasons why we see people for hip pain. Most commonly I see it for osteoarthritis or degenerative wear and tear arthritis, but I also see people for bursitis, tendonitis, injuries, uh, tears of soft tissues inside of their hip joints. So there's a lot of reasons why I might see people for hip pain. There's a multitude of causes for hip pain and it obviously depends on what the real cause is or what the underlying diagnosis is, but some of the major reasons we see people for degenerative or wear and tear arthritis, the main predominant factor is genetics. So they may have sisters or brothers or family members that have all had arthritis and now they're just the next one in line. Um, sometimes they've had injuries when they were younger, playing football back in high school, and this is something that's now come about 20, 30 years later or sometimes they've done things when they've been older and they've had um, some environmental factors. They've, uh, their jobs might've been really rough on them or a lot of construction or other things that might've actually caused them to have some deterioration. Um, there's a lot of other factors that can play a role. And so those are things that we talk to patients about when we see them in clinic. Well, we're happy to see patients anytime they have prolonged pain or dysfunction of their joints and counsel them through where they're at in that potential degenerative process or injury process. But when it comes time to decide if you know you have arthritis, when it becomes time to think about surgery for that, it really becomes when it starts to impact your life significantly enough. And only you and your family members and your friends will really be able to give you that idea as to when you aren't being who you are. And that's our goal is to provide that quality of life operation to get you back to where you want to be.